today on Singles Court. Matt's been lapping it up at the strip club, and Delia's blowing her top. This woman basically is on top of him, gyrating. He says there's nothing wrong with a little dirty dancing. I did have a lap dance. That is disgusting. That's vulgar. It's stripping with a better view, basically. And Sheldon's out, and his dad's shouting, hooray for gay. He's my son, he's gay, so don't give him a hard time. It's a genetic thing. What am I supposed to do? But Sheldon wants him to put the banner away. He's seeking my support. Okay. And when I give it to him, he wants me to back off. It's too much. I don't, I mean, I just want to be a normal person. I don't need an extra push. I don't need extra help with it. Just, just treat me the same way as always. Welcome to Singles Court. Now, as usual today, we have singles on the show who have tried to work out their relationship problems on their own, but have had no luck. So today they've come to the right place, because today they will meet a woman who is an author, a lecturer, she even ran her own dating service. She is relationship expert, Angela Siegel. Hi, David. How are you doing? I am doing fantastic today. You know what I'm working on? I'm working on the ice cream social. It's amazing how many guys want to come just because there's going to be whipped cream and ice cream. Guys, hey, that's I will be there for ice cream, that's uh, for sure. Now I'm sure that's why you're coming. <laughs> Angela, today I would like you to meet Delia and Matt. Delia is a real estate agent, and Matt is a local carpenter and contractor. Delia's a little upset. You see, Matt went to a bachelor party at a strip club, and he bought himself more than an eyeful. But Matt says the lap dance was harmless, and that Delia is overreacting. I'm calling this the case of the private dancer. Delia. I mean, if he's in a strip club, what else do you think he would be doing? No, that's, that's different. See, Matt... That's actually a really good question. Yeah. yeah I, know. I usually ask this. Yeah, thank you. See, and he should know better. He should know not to do that. We've been together oh, for on. three years. We've been together what? to do what he did in the strip club. What Because we've been together for three years. Um, we have mutual friends. Okay. And it was one of the friends, his bachelor party, he's getting married, and they decide to go to the strip club. And I don't nothing, really nothing wrong with like it myself, club. but no, I don't like it, but fine, boys it's will be unusual. boys. Okay. Boys will be I boys, went, so they went, went fine. I, I went said, into the club, go it's a bachelor party, I mean, what did she think I was going to do there, play bridge? Candy, so I had a no lap big dance, deal. big deal. I don't he see what the problem is with that. Yeah, I did have a lap dance. That is disgusting, disgusting? Please. This woman uh, basically is on top of him, gyrating. Wait, I just wait, wait, let's back up, let's you know. back up. So he went to the strip club. Yes, which I thought is okay. just for, to watch at a distance. That's all, that's all that I did. So you were was okay I with that? You were okay with him watching at a distance? At a distance, fine, oh, okay. eye candy, okay. no big so deal. so somehow he went from the, at a distance to close uh, up. The, the lap dance, dance right? the lap dance is not dance the big deal. It's personal. just like stripping just with a better view. Okay, basically the woman, the woman got, it's stripping with a better view, basically. She got on top of me. She just, you know, was like touching my neck and stuff. She just kind of slides and squirms Gyrating on my body. What's the big deal? But I want to point out, the woman didn't fall onto your lap by accident. <laughs> no, no, he no, paid I mean, this for is, this a lap This is a bachelor party, though. Okay. This is something, this is but something so that what? I have paid my good money for. But you were, and, you were to go it's there a just party. to have fun with your friends, not to buy a yeah, lap dance. Yeah, but you, okay. you knew I was going to go there. Like, what did you expect? Okay. So you're mad because he had this lap dance with That's, a better view. It's like infidelity, yes. What? I mean, it's, it's not it's, even it's, close it's, to infidelity. She's in close infidelity. Contact. None of, none of she's my clothes naked. came off, okay? No, but hers and did. And the client's not even allowed she's... to touch the woman that's dancing. But wait a minute, she I'm trying, I'm touch trying to understand from a relationship perspective what the problem is. Now, you have a problem with the fact that he had a lap dance. Yes. He says the lap dance isn't harmless. You feel that it is, it is harmful. because why? Oh, he, she, she's on top of him. He gets oh, aroused. No, no, no. It, that is that if, is the, if the mean, lap dance. You, is you're the, intimate. Oh, hold on, she if the can lap dance him, is the issue here. Wait, wait, wait. You know what? I don't know how the stripper got a dance in because you just keep talking. You haven't shut up yet. That's right. So she's whispering in his ear. She's touching him, and he's going to get aroused. You could tell me you're not uh, going to get what, turned on okay. by her touching. You've never been. You've never been aroused. You know what? You know what I mean? Listen, really, I'm going to strip you of your lips. Really, be quiet, please. So help me understand how it's okay. You don't think he's aroused if he's looking from a distance? 
That's right. But yet he is if it's close. Yes, because she's touching him. That's you're touching another human. She gets to touch him, caress him, she, stroke. She's getting mad okay. at me about going to a strip club, and she you, goes out listen, for coffee. This is the part where I ask you a question. Did you know that she had a problem with the fact that you were actually going to be at the strip club? No, doing I, I had yes, no I, idea I, about anything. Yes, she, I told him, but I let him go anyway. Okay, no. You first of all, you go? never told me that I couldn't go to the strip I, club. I, and we never I even talked about a lap so dance, first like of all. So you had no concept of the fact that she would be unhappy about that? Listen, I had no concept of that, and she hasn't even considered, like, I mean, she was what? out with my friend Rudy for coffee. So? Like, about, what was that, like three weeks ago, so they're what having have to do with coffee. That? So what? I, mean, I don't know, what does it have to do with she that? Has, it was so, nothing. No, but she's He's saying, she's talking to me about getting aroused and stuff. Like, why are you going out with my friends for coffee? To give him advice. To give him advice. I'm in real estate. I mean, coffee's a stimulant. Yes. It's a stimulant, but I don't think it works the same way on that. Exactly. Two friends talking, giving advice about career choice. The bottom line and, is she and, went. The bottom line is that's how I found out through Rudy. Who, shockingly, through Rudy, that's how I found out he had a lap dance and that he was the only one. Well, you know, Rudy didn't have Dilla, one. Dilla, 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 Dilla. So he was the only one who got a lap no, dance. It's time for a newsflash, okay? Let me tell you something. First of all, whenever someone volunteers information over coffee about your boyfriend, don't you don't you at least question their motives? Exactly. Why would Rudy tell well, why you? Well, Rudy, talk because to Rudy, me about Rudy it. was I mean, just like, just ha -ha, joking that this about is everything it. that's happened. He's probably like totally pissed about the whole thing. And I was shocked, embarrassed, and shocked like, it's something, that he was like, the only even guy. Way worse than than it's happened. You know, you know what I mean? Like, it's probably painting it way worse than it's happened. Matt, Matt, happened. I like to hear the answer to these questions. Okay? Thank you, Please. thank you, thank right. you. Gosh. Here we go. I need to understand what. Why you didn't consider? Why was Rudy giving you this information? Why was he we telling you? We were just chatting. This? We're friends chatting. He was oh, joking chatting. about the oh, bachelor party. Oh, by the way, party. by the way, Matt had a lap dance. Oh, okay. Yeah, which is it's just vulgar. Hold on, hold on, hold on. one second. Has one second. To do with we are missing. And we're missing a big piece I'm, of the puzzle I don't here. Buy it. Sorry. See, we're missing sorry. a big piece of the puzzle here. Listen. What? We're at this beach party about two weeks ago. Yes, she decides. Hold on. You go she to the decides club to give Rudy a back massage oh, in front nothing. of everybody. That was yes, you did. No, it, no, it is something. We were at the party. It, it is He's something. You're talking wood. about going, going to a strip club and getting a lap dance. Him. She's got this so guy's he's a shirt. Friend. On. Yeah, I'm just getting a friendly what? massage. Okay, he's complaining about chopping fireworks. So my girlfriend Delia comes along and she volunteers all this information about. Thank you, David. I, I want to get the facts straight because you guys are just gibbering so much you can't get them straight. You gave Rudy a massage, the same Rudy, the same Rudy who told you that he had a lap dance. That's right. Yeah. And you That's don't see right. anything wrong with touching, giving Look, him a massage. She's putting suntan, okay. suntan or, or body question. oil on this guy. No, you know why? Yeah. No, tell, tell I don't. Why? We're amongst friends. Nothing's being hidden you are like the last chance. What's the she difference? She is rubbing it's body like oil all over this guy. So, all the friends, just fingers all oily, massage. being totally flirtatious, rubbing his muscles. All the girls like ooing and eyeing about the massage. And this, and, and she's doing this he in front of everybody. Too. And I'm sitting and there going, laughing, oh my God, this is embarrassing. This is like humiliating. It's disgusting. He was there making jokes himself. He never let me know he was upset. I'm making jokes with you because I have no choice. Otherwise, I look like the jealous jerk in front of everybody. I just look like an idiot if I start freaking out in front of everybody. Matt, were you upset because she did that massage? Is that why you went to the strip club? Exactly. Well, okay, if that's if that's. I talk to Matt and your mouth opens up. It's amazing. What are you okay. connected at the hip? I'm agreeing with if you. If that's if that's if that's the case, then fine. I asked you a question. I'm, I'm guilty. Okay, fine. I'm, I'm guilty of that. What but happened? the bottom. Okay, Matt, that it's a question. Listen. Answer. Was it retaliation for the fact that she gave Rudy a massage? Okay. That's a yes, question. Yes. Yes. So you oh, so you, you go. didn't go because you wanted to. You went to make her angry. I, I wanted to go as well. I mean, it was a bachelor party. You're I mean, that's, 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 that's the point I'm trying to make. There is nothing that's wrong juvenile. with getting a lap dance from a complete stranger. But yeah, you did I, it in, I you did it in retaliation for what she did. You did. You're telling me you yeah, went and had okay. a lap dance. Fine, you know what? How fine, smart fine. is that? that? That's why I had the lap dance. Okay, the, the and there you go. That's it. And you don't have a problem with the fact that you were massaging another male in front of other people. You have no, no problem. It was I a have friend. a problem with there that. Was See, I have a big problem with that. And you never that. asked him if he had a problem with it either, did you? Because he was joking around you know with everybody else. David, get, you know? get the pacifier and the baby carriage because both of y'all need to sit in it. Okay. I'll be back with my resolution. This is immaturity at its finest. Delia, there are not too many men that would think it was okay to watch you massage their friend. You're not that naive and you know that that was not something that he would accept. I mean, even without meeting him, I don't think you'll find too many men that would think that was cute. Yeah. The one thing I think that Delia didn't count on, Matt, was that you were going to be as immature as she is and do the tit for tat and run down to the strip club. 
you know, I think about you in the strip club, and I think that the whole situation was based on trying to get her back when she wasn't there to see whether you enjoyed it or not. So it really was stupid. I mean, it didn't make any sense at all. You know, if you think about it, both of you were trying to play the same game, and you both lost. You know, growing up is necessary in all relationships, unless you enjoy playing games. You know, you've been, been in this relationship for three years, so it's time for you to start communicating and understand that what's happened in this situation is you both are putting together attention-seeking antics, hoping that the other one will pay more attention to you, which means both of you are screaming out, you're taking me for granted. So what happens is you're looking at each other and saying, hey, what about me, what about me? Grow up, really, take the pacifier out your mouth. What I suggest, Rudy, next time Rudy needs a massage, let him hire a professional. And next time you want a lap dance, skip the professional, let Delia do the lap dance for you. And I guarantee you, even though it's an amateur version, the tips are much better and the value is better for both of you. And that's that, the final word. Next on Singles Court. You know, Sheldon's you know, out, and his dad's shouting, hooray for gay. He's my son, he's gay, so don't give him a hard time. It's a genetic thing. What am I supposed to do? But Sheldon wants him to put the banner away. I don't think he even really supports me. I, I, don't, I don't even believe that he actually is 100% behind me, or he wouldn't make comments like, it's not his fault. And welcome back to Singles Court. I'm David Knight. We're back with two more people who have a serious problem, and they've come to get the help from the woman with the final word, she is our relationship expert, Angela Siegel. David, I'm telling you, after that last case, I was going to go buy some pacifiers. I really was. Is that right? Yeah, I don't think, I don't think they go well with singles, you know, carrying that around. No, your it's a little odd, I would sends, have to say. Sends the wrong message. Angela, I would like you to meet Dirk and Sheldon. Dirk is a security system salesman, and Sheldon is his college student son. Now, Sheldon is just 20, but he has recently come out as a homosexual. Dirk is enthusiastically supporting his son, but in a way that's proving too much for Sheldon. He complains that his dad is sounding off about his fine gay son at every opportunity to everyone who will listen. And Sheldon would prefer that he tone it down a little. Dirk claims that it's, parental, it's his parental duty to stand aggressively by his son, but knowing that so much of society is homophobic. So, I call this the case of too loud, too proud, or quit your shouting, the closet door is open. Sheldon, that must have been pretty difficult. Coming well, yeah, out. yeah, it was. Well, tell me about it. <laughs> well, I, it didn't happen that long ago, and I, I just I felt I had to tell them. I told my mom, and surprisingly enough, I thought after a little crying, she'd be fine with it, but she was worse, and then... Worse, than, I, worse than your dad. Well, not originally when I told him, he reacted exactly how I, I figured he would. I mean, he just got so angry, and then he refused to talk to me for a week, just stormed off, but then when he came back, it, it's with his extra support, and... What do, you, what do you consider extra support? Well, I, I, I mean, you wanted their support, which is why you were told well, yeah, them, yeah, right? I do want some support, but it, it's just, it's caught me off, it's too much. I don't, I mean, I just want to be a normal person. I don't need an extra push. I don't need extra help with it. Just, just treat me the same way as always. I'm not a different person. I mean, what do you I've mean? I've been his son since I was little. Yeah, yeah, but, hold on a second. I'm not going to apologize for, you know, giving you my support. Yeah, I'm going to give you my support. I am a little confused, though. I mean, you know, what do you mean? here you are, he's, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's seeking my support, okay. and when I give it to him, he wants me to back off. But yeah, it's, I'm confused I, too. Tell I don't get it. it. Well, it's not the, the support he gives is just, I mean, okay, we, he's sitting there the other night with his friend, his friend's over, they're having beer, sitting there watching the TV, uh, I'm on my way out, Saturday night, his friend asks, oh, hey, Sheldon, you got a date tonight? And, well, I, I did, actually. No. But he... He mean he says, no, of course he doesn't. He's gay. He's gay. It's fine. It's great. I'm proud of him. He's a homosexual though. It's not his fault. It's not his fault. You know, it's it's just a genetic thing, you know? He doesn't he's not even happy about it. It's not his fault though, and we'll stand by him. Did, it's a good thing. Happen? It's great. Well, yeah, it happened. But I mean look at Like I, that? Well, Ex not exactly. Oh, I just said on. that That's he was, you know, he's he, he's exactly my son, he's gay, so don't give him a hard it's time. It's a genetic about thing. It. What am I supposed to do? Look at don't when give I him a hard time. You for beer? So your what? friends are having a beer, one minute you're watching Tiger Woods, the next minute you're on I'm a... I'm walking uh, through the room, I'm just on my way out the door. His friend gives an offhand comment. I could have just said, yeah, I got a date, I'm on my way There's out. There's only one way to deal End with of this the situation. Question. Look, you, you know when you describe my reaction, you know, going away for five days or whatever it was and thinking about it? Well, I had to think about it a little bit, you know? I mean, this is something that I don't know that's anything... That's understandable, about. I understand that. I don't understand this world, I don't know this realm, this is something I don't have any idea but about. I'm having to so go through I had that to too. think you about it. I could that's my fine. Side. 
I'm yeah. not, well, I and, and I came out and no, I came back for me. and I said, you I'm going to support get something that's happening. Yeah, but yeah, I said, I'm going to support you 110 percent, and I'm trying to do that. 50, I'm happy. Yeah, 50 100 is, is better than good. Yeah, but you're not happy about it. You're telling me you're telling me to back off. I mean, do you understand what he's saying about? The fact that your friend's sitting there and really all you had What's to really say was goodbye. For? You got to understand. I mean, it's like, it's like saying if I'm straight, say I'm straight. It's like, oh, this is oh, my son. Oh. He nails boatloads of girls. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's just, it's uncomfortable. I don't need that. This is a pretty tough sell for me and, and with my Sal, friends. Well, why do you have to it's say It's a tough sell with me and my, my associates, my friends. Well, why do you I got to put it in there. Dark. Why do you have to sell him? Exactly. That's, that's what the part I, I don't understand. Because they're going to walk all over me if I don't. Why? They didn't. Before he told you, you didn't know what his sexual preference was. Yeah, and but I'm sure they don't. Yeah, but they're you talk about that out. coffee they're jazz. Then, oh, so is your son me. gay? No. Oh, is your daughter gay? Look, I got what? an example. I got this friend Bobby at work. I, I've been working with him for about eight years. Bobby's an his, idiot. Look, Shame. Bobby's daughter starts dating a Japanese girl, right? And you should have heard the comments. You should have heard the remarks. They're going, "What's the matter, Bobby? What's the matter? Your son doesn't like American girls." Well, you know, I'm, I'm not going to put up with that kind of crap, and I'm not going to do it, so... Is there a correlation between the story you just told me and this one? Because I missed it. Are I you saying that because you. she was Japanese, they didn't like that, so he had to sell them on that? She Is was that your different. Point? He's different. That's the story, and that's what's going on. And I have to, so like, take that, it to them, maybe they're going to... Question for world. you, Dirk. So did that father try to sell people on the idea that they should like his Japanese daughter-in-law? No. Well, good. She, Neither should you. I don't think he even really supports yeah, me. I, I, don't, I don't even believe that he actually is 100% behind me, or he wouldn't make comments like, are it's you, not his fault. Are you, you know, a, I, I am 100%, like a bad thing, I'm 110% behind him. But he's front of making him. it seem good. It's just that, you know, I'm... But then why do you feel like you have to sell him? Because one thing about sales, let's use that word, is that you believe in your product, therefore you're able to sell it. Yeah, but, so, but you can't sell something you don't believe in. So, I mean, that's my realm. So I can tell you about sales. That's what I, I've done my whole life. So tell me how... You think it's okay to have to sell him if you supposedly believe in him. I believe in him. i just having a little... I am having trouble with this. You know? So you, I mean... It breaks my heart. This is against God's law. You so know? The truth and, is you and, don't and I'm, I'm never going to see my son get married. I'm never going to see... I'm never going to have any grandchildren. So that doesn't sound adopt? like somebody is supporting it. Exactly. 100%. That's, that's, but you know, but, but your, your I feelings... It. I knew but it. Shel but Sheldon, his feelings are valid, still. His feelings are still his. You can't discount the fact that that's how he feels. I guess my question to you, Dark, is how, if that's really how you feel, how do you think it helps him to try to go exactly the other way? How do you think that helps him? Because it's, it's not believable. Because, look, he's, Sheldon's got to admit that nobody messes with him when I'm around. You know, no one's going to mess about uh, with his... my five gay son? With, 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 they, that's when they start messing with me. You know, they don't need to know uh, that. They don't need to know that. You can't like hang that. your head about something like this. You, look, I got a theory. The best okay, defense is an offense. Oh, that's you know, And I'm sticking to that okay. theory because if that's I don't fair. take it to these guys, they're going to take it to me. They're going to take it to Sheldon. But you know, they the don't problem with... No, I don't even... Dark, the problem with your philosophy is that if you're going to have an offense, you have to believe in your team. You don't believe, you don't like what he's doing. That's the truth of the matter. You don't agree with it, you just said it's against God's law. So how are you going to sell something like that? You don't even support me, it's fake. Well, I support you. I, I support you at every turn. I tell everybody that he's my son and nobody better give you he's any guff. He's my son, he's gay and no one better give yeah, him any guff. How about just they gotta he's know. your son? Isn't that enough? Exactly. That's my question. It's all I want. Sure it's enough. But what it, but you don't understand no, what these guys can do to you. There is, who, what guys? Well, look, I told you about Bobby. Well, he, he was hanging his head all over Bobby the world, you know, all but over you, the office. But Bobby didn't marry the girl, did it? His, it? It was his son that married her. And that's, it's his life, not yours. I'll be back with my resolution. Children give parents shocks for a lifetime. That's not unusual. It happens all the time. Sheldon, you told your parents in hopes that they would be supportive of your decision, uh, but you knew that they needed to deal with the information and the time in the way that they best knew how to deal with it. It's still a shocker, and you have to understand that that has to be within their own time frame. You know, you also have to understand they may never accept it. You can't make people accept something that they're unwilling to accept. Dirk, you love your son. I can see that you love your son. And you should love your son. You don't have to love his lifestyle. You don't. It's okay if you don't. But you have to give yourself time to let everything settle 
so you can make the right decision. Five days obviously wasn't enough. You need enough time where it can go through your brain and you can start to really ask yourself the hard questions and then make a decision of whether or not you're going to accept what he's told you. You know, the most important thing is that you remember to love your son. One thing I always say is that you never allow a child's decisions to destroy a parent's love. And when I look at this situation, I would say that both of you need to seek family counseling together and help each person in your family deal with Sheldon's decision. Because what you'll find is that, Sheldon, just because you've come out of the closet, it doesn't mean the door is shut. There are lots of work that needs to be done. You have to try your best to make sure that everyone else is comfortable. But once you've done that, it's time to go on with your life. Just remember, they all love you. And just remember, we don't care who you love. It's that you love those who love you. And that's that, the final word. Today we learned a lot about hard sales. It's hard to sell your girlfriend on the idea that a lap dance is harmless. It's hard to sell your boyfriend on the idea that lubing up a big guy named Rudy is safe. And hey, most of all, you can't close a deal if you don't believe in the product. We'll see you next time on Singles Court, the final word for singles. <laughs>